You know me. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, if we wreck, I mean, I hope we don't upset. You choose which way? Oh, no, I'd, I'd hug right-handed. I think it'd be fun coming out of, it, out of here. You got no brakes? Yeah. Yeah, we might go out the other direction. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, you commit it now. <laughs> you see, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I don't know. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Dude, that's a box. <laughs> oh, God, if that's been washed out, I'd piss myself. Huh? I was like, yeah, it's dark, buddy, it's dark. <laughs> you think you can hear everything from right here, but you really can't. Once you, you know, get around through there, you see why. There's a bunch of long ridges right on out this road out through here. We can hunt everything we can hear.
I know, stay still. Baby. That was a yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, my, my, I'm glad that, that you killed him because that son was getting ready to wreck me. Dude, I, you kept, I kept hearing you. Dude, I kept on saying. I had no shot. Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah. Yeah. I kept, hey. We, how about you, baby? Give me some of that. Three of rascals. Did you see them? I, no, I seen two of them. No, there were three. <clears throat> Finally. Hey, <laughs> just because it's so steep down there, huh. I'll just film you going Wait, down. Yeah. I'll film you going down. Would you do that for me? Yeah, I'll film you coming Thank back you. up. I mean, I'm excited, but my legs is numb. Dude, that's a poke down through there. I don't think it's as far as you thought, but I mean, you just you just shot right over the edge. I was shooting through a bunch of stuff. Too. Oh, no, it's thick. You can see it. Better hope that bird landed against the freaking tree. Dude, that bird's in the holler. It's in, if, the, if in it, the creek. I was going to say. You know, if it didn't hit a tree, you got a little walk. I'll meet you back up here at the road. It's in the hey, creek. Take, take your camera with you. It's for sure in the creek. <laughs> I'll be right here. <laughs> it's for sure in the creek. All right, I'll be right back. Man, that's a welcome sight right there. A welcome sight. Ain't no reason to slack off, son. Come on. How much? Ain't no reason to slack off. Come on. We'll get out of this holler and go kill another one. Get them long legs of high stepping. We on the board, baby. Wow. It's funny. Last night, the boys from THP come down. They're hunting today. Some of them are. Some of them's working, but. Earl, I call him Earl. They call him Curl. <laughs> he uh, he's hunting across the mountain from us, and 
I thought he was originally going to hunt this where we're at right now. Uh, this is a piece of public down here that I really like. I was telling him how good it land laid, man. It was beautiful, wooden steep. Well, me and Josh find the only, only steep place on the mountain. I, 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 I've never been in a not steep place in Southern West Virginia. True. But hey, we come out with a bird, so we're pretty stoked. We've had a rough way to go in Virginia. You shot one of his tails. Oh no, you just now popped back out. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I was looking. We originally pulled up this morning out here on just kind of like a high knob right when we topped up. Cause you know, we haven't been over here this year any at all. So we don't know where anything's at. And uh, so we pull up, stop, just listening. Kind of the way me and you did in Virginia last year. If you remember we pulled oh, yeah. up there. Um, but anyway, we're just listening and, and these birds were, they never did fire up. They was, they was on a limb still and, and I hooted and they gobbled and answered me, but they never did gobble on their own really on the, on the roost, maybe once or twice. But they was just over the hill from us. So what me and Josh done is we took the ridge right on up and got up higher above them. And we didn't know it at the time that there, there was two of these old log, what we call logging roads or skid roads. It's been in here for years. There's two of them, we didn't know that. When we could see one, so we come down to this one. There ended up being another one down below us. Um, so we set up and called and the birds come right around below us, but we was in a really bad situation. So we crawled out this road and got out here and jumped over the bank to where we could see that, that lower road because we thought our only opportunity would be to bring them around it. And sure enough, after me arguing with a hen for about 10 or 15 minutes, uh, Josh told me, he said, you better hammer on him, try to get him up that hill, you know, try to pull him up through here. And I started hammering on him, and boom, they popped right up, didn't they? Yeah, once you, once you laid in on them, and one, because, you know, the video probably won't clarify all that, but I mean, that hen was there for 10 minutes. Yeah, she still, yeah, I had to And then it went, like, and she went over the hill, and we had, we had went silent. I had to shut and up. They, because... And they were just strutting down there in their strut zone below where we could shoot. The, and I just uh, knew that with enticing her up here the first time, if you laid in on them, I figured you'd pull them right up. And by God, when you laid in on them for about 90 seconds, Boom, by God, they'd come right up. Yeah. I could hear them spitting and drumming oh, the whole time. Yeah. I was I like, mean, man, they ain't five yards over the hill. Boom. Yeah. What it was is there was that logging road, and then there was like that, a, just a berm, dip, that, Just like a. Yeah. And then it rolled off. Yeah. And they was in and it. And they was in it. Um, but yeah, that, I, I, you know, the hen popped up first and she was there for, like Josh said, probably 10 minutes. And she was just like, had a direct line of sight to me. So I knew better than to make a sound because she was going to pick us out on the side of that hill. Uh, but once she turned away from us and went out of my sight, that's when Josh said, you better hammer on him. And I, and I did and it worked out and I'm thankful for that, for sure. But it's yeah, still early. What time is it? I don't know, it's time to go get on another bird. Oh, I thought you were going to say breakfast. 7.45. Did you say breakfast? No, son, I said I said hunting time. Oh, okay. It's terrible. It's <laughs> wreckage. I just felt warmness going down my legs, and I was like, oh, God. God. Give the character. Well, we got a second bird struck up here. And... We're hiking into him, get set up. We're gonna try to get pretty tight to where we located him and see what we can do with him. We have to work for these birds today, but damn if it ain't worth it. What's happening out shape too? And hell, I've been working out. You can't get in shape for these mountains. <laughs> but there's one issue that Zach and I have at this moment is both of us is out of snuff. So we're going back to the truck after we try this bird, no matter what. I would say three gobblers roosted, but it's minus one. Yeah. <laughs>
So I'm just putting a waypoint, you know, and that's just just give us an idea how many birds we hear. But these are the three birds we heard. Jack Zach killed one, so there's still two in this holler that should be somewhere in the area roosted about every day. Grab hold me walking like that. I thought you dumped on a, uh, just a snake laying there. It's cold enough where they're just gonna lay. They ain't going. And they're out. I filmed one the other day down to Cornstalk. Is you? Me and Brody. I pulled right up on him. And I said, open the door and look at him. He's like, <laughs> I said, now I tell you what, if you don't open the door and look at him, I'm taking your phone away from you. He's like, why? <laughs> oh, damn, I mean, they're scratching up on the hillside. It ain't nothing like, by God. It's April 19th, and it's snowing here. And we done killed one bird. <laughs> Man, that wind up here is pretty harsh, ain't it? I kept on thinking as I was walking out here, I was going to hear one just thunder. Busted out of here if we don't strike something. Picket water should be what you, everybody should drink. There ain't no difference in water. Water is water. 
I can sure one of them guys drinks the Fiji. Oh, yeah. Or the, yeah, what's that other one? With the big wide. Mm -hmm. It tastes like silver when it's going down your mouth. Okay. Well, might as well fill y'all in. We was going walking back out to the truck from that, that ridge system that we were hunting. And we stopped in Low Gap. Heck, I was talking to Jay on the phone, checking in with him, because he, he found a little success this morning, too. And we was talking about it, and Zach, and he takes a pot call and just striking, and bam, one guy was right across the holler here from us. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get him to gobble again. We get a good location on him, then get a game plan from there. through here instead of walking because he then got a bird you know on the truck we're getting ready to put two on there Hey, Zachary, you barking? I just busted the heck out of my lip. Oh, man. Bad. Hey. Hey. <laughs> baby. Oh, oh, God. I think I broke my tooth. <laughs> I think I broke my tooth. Let me go get this thing before he goes all the way down the mountain. Oh yeah, another paintbrush, man. Big Sherwin Williams. I'm gonna say that's probably his buddy. Huh? I'm gonna say that's probably his buddy. I do too. Laying on the back of the truck. Boy. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> Oh yeah, big heavy one. Look there. 
Is my lip swollen? It's busted. Not bad, but it's busted. Whew. I don't think I had to hold that gun very good. You put a 20 gauge wolf on Gee, you, you shoot that thing. <laughs> my hands are broke to death, uh, son. Yeah, it's a big old, big head of mountain bird hooks there. Yeah. You don't, honestly, down here in this country, you don't kill a whole lot of birds with much bigger spurs than them. Well, we got well, yours, and we, we got Zach's, and we got mine. He's a little tough, and we traveled a long way to get him. But, by God, it's snowing and everything over here. Oh, it, it's good snowing, this I We struck it all the way over there. Really? That's when I was on the phone with you over in that low gap. We, we ran all the way around through here and then down this point. It's killer. Is it by himself? Yeah, I think. See, Zach killed his bird. Way right over there across the holler, and there was there was three of them, and I think this might have been one of his buddies, and got fired up, got fired up an hour and a half later. So, killer man, you can't, you can't beat, that. you can't beat that. Well, y'all seen it all go down. I am pretty still stoked though. <laughs> that bird when we struck him, and we got over here, I tried to get him to gobble back here, and he didn't gobble, but I don't think he could hear us. Do you think he could hear us? So we come down to the point, maybe another 90, 100 yards, and went on the edge, and I yelped, and pat, pat, pat. Man, he thundered. He was just, what, 60, 70 yards. And we set up, but then he gobbled again, and he, and there's a bunch of, I mean, there's all kinds of blow over in here. And it's just thick and rough. Well, I guess something kept him from coming straight up to the point. And we could hear him walking under us. So we turned around the tree and I called again and he was right here. And I knew he was gonna make his way up here. There's a little flat. You can, you can barely see it out there on that point. And, and by golly, that's right where he come up. I said, you know, we got turned around there and, yeah, it's thick down there, obviously. So, but, golly, man, you talk about, man, just a, not a stress relief, but just like a relief, man, to put a couple down. Like you're doing something right now. See, I start to question. Like, I don't question us killing turkeys. I question, like, am I making bad decisions because we're not killing anything, we're trying stuff that we ought not be trying because, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the only thing, but man, we've had a great morning. We're gonna get out of here, we're gonna go to the truck. I don't know about Zach, but like I'm already fainting for a big crane dip and neither one of us has no snuff and it's cold. It was spitting snow, snow. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it was spitting snow when this bird was coming in, gobbling. So we're gonna get out of here. We'll probably go to Bob Evans maybe, or maybe Shelby will fix us breakfast. Nah, <laughs> probably not, <laughs> but we're gonna get out of here. My buddy Jay Blackwell, son Austin, he, he's hunted with us before. He, he's been on videos. Jay's been on videos. His son made me his turkey carrier of an antler and put me a little untamed emblem inlay in it. Pretty sweet. First time using it because I normally don't have to pack them very far, but I've got a little bit of walk today. And I'm, this bird has had uh, uncontrollable bowel movements that have uh, really got to me. <laughs> they got to me bad. Let me go ahead and grab my gun, let me grab it on. But it, 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 it has, it, it, it's, it's got all over me and it's, and it's bad. It's real bad, y'all. See, it don't bother my hand. I'm out of here. I thought I felt something hitting me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna break it down. Well, we've had one heck of a day in West Virginia. I hope y'all like the videos. There'll be more to come. If you like them, let us know. Drop us a comment. We love interacting with our viewers. Hit the subscribe button. Go follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. 
and let us know how y'all are doing too. Send us a picture, whatever. Good luck. <laughs>